Hey there, do you like Japanese culture as much as me? Japanese culture is rich and beautiful. What I particularly envy the Japanese for is that they have mascots for almost everything. Don't believe me? I will show you. Fuki Mimi chan, a rabbit with a sweater stuck on its head, is the mascot for Akron detergent. Hanapi. Hanapi? A pink plane on a cloud is the mascot for Japanese Iwate Airport. Manyan, a colorful cat with an M for ears, is the mascot for Masa 21 shopping mall in Gifu, Japan. Mameta 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 kun mascot of Sawai, Sawai. Mameta kun mascot for Sawai coffee is a cool coffee bean. He sure is. Kabakichi, a hippo with rubber tree leaves for ears. The mascot for Nishiyama Chemix, a rubber processing company. Gabukichi, a mix of chicken and balding 41 year old businessman. The mascot for the Japanese fried chicken chain Gaburi Chicken. Asa Gohan Man, encourages citizen of Kochi, Japan to eat breakfast. Sunachan, the red rabbit hand, advises citizen of Fukuoka, Japan not to smoke while walking. Earthcoon, the Tokyo Sued System mascot, is a globe with manhole cover hat. Manatee is a manatee who teaches driving manners in East Japan. Niko chan, a gothic catfish schoolgirl, is the mascot of Namagata City, Japan. Kuiji kun, a giant slug with woozy eyes, is the mascot for Joy Agra slug repellent. And the list goes on. It's just never ending, the mascots. There's. It just keeps going. I, I wish we had this in America. It's just so endearing to have a character attached to every little thing. It's just fun. It's playful. I, I love it. So I'm going to go over how to successfully make a Japanese-inspired mascot. I'm going to go over the three main staples of what makes a mascot kawaii. Kawaii. Then we're going to make our own. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> My forehead, it's all sweaty. Ugh. All right, so first things first, three main staples. Number one, top heavy proportions. Now this doesn't apply to every mascot. In fact, none of these three staples apply to every mascot, but for most, having top heavy proportions, meaning a big ass head, <laughs> Big ass head, medium sized body, and little tiny feet. This can be seen on many different mascots. Again, not every mascot, but if you're going for the kawaii look, then definitely something to consider when making a mascot. Next, general bulbosity. Now you're probably wondering, what does that even mean? Now let me explain. Uh, you ever see Yoshi's nose? My man's has got a bulbous ass nose. You know bulbous, right? Like, that's a bulbous cat. Or, look at that bulbous ladybug. You know, bulbous. Like, fat. Protruding. Thick. Dummy thick. Uh, just general chubbiness. Bulbosity. Next. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. Beady eyes. Beady, vacant, soulless eyes. It's quite common. These are the three main things to consider when coming up with your own Japanese-inspired mascot. With that being said, let's get into it. Since I live in the land of trash and mutant rats, I'm going to make a mascot for the public transportation system here in New York better known as MTA. So right now I'm just going to go through Pinterest and look for some inspiration. I think Pinterest is one of the best places to find references for art, just my opinion. So if you don't know anything about MTA, they handle the trains and the buses. It's completely incompetent. If you need to get somewhere, MTA will take your money and guarantee that you get there at least 45 minutes late. You've probably noticed that most Japanese mascots are either animals or inanimate objects. Very rarely are they humans. 
So, I think I'm gonna go with an animal. I mean, what animal do you think of when you think of New York? I mean, come on. Come on, guys. It's not that difficult. A pigeon. Are pigeons rats with wings? Yes, they are. Pigeons are the silliest creatures to ever walk the earth. I think a pigeon would be very appropriate. And I think what I want him to be is a conductor. I want him to be a train conductor. So I'm just gonna look at a few more photos and come up with a sketch. All right, so I made a little sketch of Maru. This is our pigeon train conductor guy. He's adorable. I kind of love him. As you can see, he's got the, uh, the top heavy proportions, the bulbosity, and he's got the beady, soulless, vacant eyes. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is put this into Illustrator and, and finalize it. So, I imported it into Illustrator and the first thing that I'm going to do is outline this. This shouldn't take too long. I just want to make sure that it has the uh, nice, bold outline look that most Japanese mascots have. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this now. Hello. So it's been about a week, if I'm being honest. I got a little sidetracked with school, and by school, I mean I was playing Seven Days to Die for about 12 hours a day. Am I a week behind on my schoolwork? Yes. Do I regret anything? No. But I did manage to finish outlining our little mascot guy, and I made a few changes. So as you can see, the final outline looks a little different from the sketch, and here is my thought process. So. As I was outlining this, I was thinking to myself, you know, this guy looks really boring. He's got no personality. So I was thinking, what could I do to make him have a little bit more personality? So instead of just idly standing there, I made him waving. And I said to myself, okay, that works. He's got a little bit more personality, that's great. And then I continued to outline it and I was still somewhat unsatisfied for some reason. I still felt like he was kind of bland. I thought to myself again, okay, what can I do to give him a little bit more personality other than just waving? And then it came to me. I know what I'll do. I'll give him glasses. Everyone's got a little bit more personality when they have glasses on. I don't know. I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with him. I, I would say I'm about 80% satisfied with this design, but it's a good start. It's a great start, I think. So all that's left to do now is color this. And again, that shouldn't take too long because mascots are usually just flat colors. I think the hardest part about this is going to be picking out the right colors. So I'm gonna go pick out some colors and fill this guy in and put some final touches on him. And I will get back to you right after that.
All right, everyone, I have finished, and here is the final result. All right. I like it a lot. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I will take this. Japan, do I get a pass? I would say he's pretty kawaii. What should we call him? He looks like a Dan, doesn't he? He looks like you're a very wholesome coworker. It's just like always happy to see you, you know? Dan. I like Dan. What do you guys think his name should be? Leave it in the comments down below. MTA, if you would like to buy this from me, this would be a great marketing move on your part. Sales will increase by 300%. Everyone will abandon their dinky little cars and start riding the trains and the buses. If you would like to buy this from me, I will happily give it to you for the low, low price of the balance of my student loans. <laughs> this is a very simple process. It doesn't take too long. You could finish this in about a day. I don't think you necessarily have to be good at drawing or at art to do this. I think anyone can do this. I think you could do this. So I think that's going to be it for me, guys. This was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Hopefully you took something away from this video. You learned something new. You enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go do something. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. Love ya. Take care.